Sketch the level curve of the function f of x comma y equals 2x divided by the sum of x and y for c equals 3. Recall a contour map or level curves of a function of two variables is a graph on the xy plane that shows curves of equal height or at a specific function value. For example, a topographical map is an example of a contour map. Each level curve is a 2D graph of the intersection of the surface given by f of x comma y and a plane z equals c, where c is a constant. To determine a level curve, we set f of x comma y equal to c. Let's first look at this graphically. Here we see the graph of the given surface, and now I'm going to graph the plane z equals c, and then change the value of c. The intersection of the plane and the surface represents a level curve. So here's a plane. Again, every time this plane cuts the surface, it creates a level curve. We angle this correctly, we can see the intersection of that plane and the surface looks linear. Also notice there is some discontinuity in the function, which we'll discuss in a moment. Let's also take a look at the level curves or contour map for the surface before we determine one single level curve for the function. Here we see a contour map for the given function or we can say a set of level curves for the function. Again, notice there is some discontinuity, which we'll discuss in a moment. And now let's take a look at the level curves actually on the surface. Notice the labels on each level curve, those labels are the z value or function value. And now going back to our work, if we take a look at the given function, notice we have division by zero when x and y are opposites. So we do have a domain restriction that x can't equal the opposite of y. And now to determine the level of curve when c equals three, we set the function equal to three, which gives the equation two x divided by the quantity x plus y equals three. And now let's go ahead and solve the equation for y. Remember the level curves looked linear. So we'll multiply both sides by the quantity x plus y. Simplifying on the left, x plus y divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with two x equals on the right. Distributing the three, we have three x plus three y. Solving for a y, we'll subtract three x on both sides for the next step. Simplifying, we have negative x or negative one x equals three y, dividing both sides by three. The level curve for c equals three is the line y equals negative one third x, which we should recognize as a line in which the y-intercept is zero and the slope is negative one third. But again, we do have the restriction that x can't equal negative y. For this equation, this only occurs when both x and y are zero, which indicates the level curve is a line, but there is a hole at the origin zero comma zero. And now to graph the level curve, we'll make an open point at the origin. Notice this would be the vertical or y-intercept. And now because the slope is negative one-third, to find additional points, we can go down one, right three, down one, right three, as often as we want until we get to the edge of the coordinate plane. We can also go back to the origin and go up one and left three units to find additional points. And now we'll graph the level curve passing through the points, but of course not passing through the origin because there's a hole at the origin. This is a level curve for C equals three. I hope you found this helpful.